Karsh Gail Dinis. I'm Dalma, and for anyone visiting Turkey, this video will cover all the latest travel restrictions and how to fill out Turkey Passenger Locator Form. Did you know Turkey has the highest consumption of tea per capita? Or that half of the country's population is under 30? Turkey is home to the kebab. It was here they invented kebab. And the Turks are still the best ones to make it. Oh, and do you know oil resting is their national sport? Yep. The wrestlers will douse themselves with olive oil before they take on their opponent. And that's a true story. True story. In this video, I'm going to run you through the process of filling out Turkey Passenger Locator Form with iVisa. But first, pay attention to the latest COVID-19 travel restrictions. And just before you do that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share this video with your travel buddies. So, passengers arriving from a country other than Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Brazil, Egypt, India, Nepal, Pakistan, Singapore, South Africa, Sri Lanka, and the United Kingdom must A. Have a negative COVID-19 test result taken at least 72 hours before travel. Or B. Have a negative COVID-19 rapid antigen test taken at most 48 hours before arrival. There's no need for quarantine if you show any of these test results. However, this doesn't apply to passengers younger than 12, passengers with a COVID-19 vaccination card showing that they were fully vaccinated at least 14 days before arrival, passengers with a COVID-19 recovery certificate issued at most six months before arrival, and merchant seamen. Passengers departing from Brazil, South Africa, Nepal, or Sri Lanka have been banned to enter Turkey until a new decision is made. However, there is no obstacle for passengers traveling from these countries to have a transit flight via Turkey. Now, if you're arriving in Turkey from another country but have been in Brazil, Nepal, or Sri Lanka in the last 14 days, you'll need to submit a negative COVID-19 PCR test result taken no more than 72 hours before arrival. You'll also need to quarantine for 14 days. Whew. So now that you know the rules, let's get the passenger locator form that you need to enter Turkey. This form must be filled out within the last 72 hours before travel. Just as in life, there are two ways to do it. One, go to register.health.gov.tr and take 45 minutes to follow the steps. Or two, let an iVisa expert do it for you. Simply go to iVisa.com and input your nationality and Turkey as the destination. Now click apply now. Once you're done filling out the information about your trip, you'll receive a QR code directly to your email for you to show it on your phone once you arrive in Turkey. If your nationality requires a visa to enter Turkey, don't worry, we got you too. You can watch this video so you know exactly how it's done. Last step would be paying with any debit or credit card. That's about it. Now your information will be sent to one of our iVisa experts. And in case there's something that needs to be corrected, we will be contacting you as soon as possible. iVisa.com is all about simplifying travel experiences and help everyone take the hassle and confusion out of applying for visas, health declarations, and any sort of travel documentation. We simply do all the work for you. It's our job to make application forms kiss you. You know, we like to keep it short and simple. W what do you think I meant? And that's it for this video. Don't forget, I'm Dalma, and I'll be bringing you more travel solutions in the coming videos. You know what that means. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and keep the notifications always turned on. Gule gule or bye in Turkish. Let's start doing language lessons too. Safe travels. Mm -hmm.